Hi, this is Maeve Hamrick, and I'm back with another video about life in the terminal. Today we're going to talk about uh, Sixel support in uh, Xterm. So uh, Sixel, or Sixels, is a graphics format uh, invented by Digital Equipment Corporation in the 80s so that they could, uh, so that host computers like deck faxes and um, PDP-11s could stream graphics data to text terminals. And uh, it's supported in the VT240 and 340 series uh, terminals. But most importantly, the people who maintained Xterm, which is the default terminal for X Windows, added uh, not only ANSI terminal support, but they added Sixel support. So you can display Sixels, uh, Sixel graphics in an Xterm. And this is interesting because. Uh, it means that you can display graphics on any system that you can SSH into. Uh, and uh, that's, that's kind of useful for me because uh, sometimes I want to get um, information, graphical information, about how uh, a system is running. And I don't want to have to go through the trouble of creating an HTTP interface because, you know, you have to add more software, you have to uh, come up with an identity uh, system so that you can log into it so that not everyone can see your, your beautiful data. Uh, and so, right, so what I mostly do with this is uh, I have little utilities all over the place that uh, display spark lines and uh, the people I work for did not necessarily want me to display their spark lines, so um, uh, I'm just giving a demo, so this is, or, or an example. So this is something it could, might look like. So you know, hey, maybe we have three clusters, and uh, the those little lines display something about its its feature. Well, why don't we say that's a load, and then uh, you know, there's bandwidth. So um, yeah, so basically what you're seeing is you're seeing a text terminal with some graphics on it. Uh, and uh, another thing you could do with it is you could display images. Uh, you just like cat files out to standard out. Um, I frequently use the image magic convert utility to do this and uh, and I'll show you a couple options of that here. Uh, okay so here we are this is just like a test card a video test card from the, the old days. Um, you know here's a picture of the moon landing um, and then here's the full screen test card again. Uh, or full width, I should say, and uh, you know you can kind of see that, that you you can scroll back, right? Um, you know, it's it's a terminal. Uh, GoScript has Sixel support. Now that doesn't look really great, but I think what this is emulating is this is emulating what uh, Sixel graphics would look like on a dot matrix printer. So that you know, gives it a little bit more context. Uh, you can also uh, use Image Magic Convert, and you get uh, to convert EPS files, which is what we we're doing here. Uh, you know, this is what Image Magic Convert looks like, and I honestly, it looks a lot much, a, a lot better. Um, and one of the things I love is that um, you can display a, a a web page on the terminal. Right there, you go, and I, I think that's absolutely hilarious. Um, I put together the script to do this in, you know, thirty minutes. It wasn't too hard. Um, so yeah, the only the only issue is is that it's not full height. Um, I didn't want to have to support the full height because it was a little bit difficult. There was something going on with convert that it didn't work right. So, uh, but it, it, you can get an idea for what a web page looks like by looking at the top of it. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's basically just all I wanted to show you. Uh, if I understand how to use uh, YouTube, I'll put like um, uh, some links to other videos and uh, the playlist. So um, a while ago I made another video that had some other little demos of using Sixels for stuff. Uh, that's linked maybe over here, I don't know. And then there's also the I Live in the Terminal playlist that this video is a, a member of. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for listening, and um, I'll, I guess hopefully I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye.